Hi, this is Dr. Brian Walsh, member of the research and development team with ProGrade. Everyone has heard of diabetes. In fact, it's estimated that in the next couple of decades, diabetes by itself will bankrupt the healthcare industry of a number of different nations around the world. Now, most people have heard that there's a couple of different types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 used to be called juvenile onset diabetes, and type 2 originally was called adult onset diabetes. The problem was is that children started to develop the adult onset, so they changed the name to type 1 and type 2. But did you know there's also a type 1.5 and a type 3? Type 1 usually afflicts children and is an autoimmune attack against the insulin producing cells of the pancreas. Without insulin, you can't get glucose from your bloodstream into the cells. Type 1.5 is the exact same thing but occurs later on in life. In fact, type 1.5 is called latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. So in the same situation, the immune system attacks the pancreas, you can't make insulin anymore, you can't get glucose into your cells. Type 2 uh, used to be adult onset and is the one that's associated with poor diet and lifestyle choices. People that follow a poor diet, they don't exercise enough, they have a difficult time getting glucose into the cells, they make too much insulin, and insulin actually stops working so you cannot get glucose into the cells of your body anymore. Now type 3 is relatively new. Type 3 was based on some studies that were done a few years ago showing that the brain actually makes insulin as well. And if the brain is not producing enough insulin or in the brain glucose cannot get in the cells, it's considered to be type 3. So type 3 diabetes is considered to be diabetes more so of the brain and is associated with things like Alzheimer's. But here's really ultimately the problem with any of these. Glucose is toxic in high amounts in your bloodstream. You want to get glucose out of the blood and into the cells where it can be stored or metabolized. Insulin in the first two, type 1 and type 1.5, is not even available. So if your pancreas is not making insulin, you can't get glucose into the cells. Type 2 and type 3, it's thought that the receptors become resistant to insulin. So even though you're producing enough insulin, if the receptors don't work, again, you don't get glucose into the cells. So how do you prevent becoming a statistic? The top two recommendations to help prevent any type of blood sugar dysregulation are following a good diet and good exercise program. Far and away, those are the best things you can possibly do to help manage your blood sugar. But beyond that, sometimes supplements can be helpful. And the compounds found in krill oil, specifically the omega-3 fatty acids EPA and DHA, as well as the very potent antioxidant astaxanthin, have all been shown to help get glucose into the cell whether or not insulin is even available. So following a good diet, a good exercise program, and taking something like krill oil may help you prevent being a statistic of this, this diabetes epidemic that's occurring today. I hope you found this helpful and thank you very much for your time.